Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for 6th grade. This is Unit 6, Lesson 15, Equivalent Exponential Expressions. Again, those words are equivalent exponential expressions. The objective states, I can find solutions to equations with exponents in a list of numbers. We're looking at Activity 15.3, Exponent Experimentation. Find a solution to each equation in the list that follows. Numbers in the list may be a solution to more than one equation, and not all numbers in the list will be used. Number 1, 64 is equal to x squared. I know that x squared is the same thing as x times x, so I'm looking for a value that's exactly the same that I could multiply by itself to make 64, and that value right there is 8. So x equals 8 because x squared equals 64. Number two, uh, 64 is equal to x to the third power. I know that x cubed or x to the third power is the same thing as x times x times x. So I'm looking for the same number that can be multiplied by itself three different times to come up with 64. And so I know it has to be less than 8, so I'm going to be looking at these numbers less than 8. Um, and I'm just going to try one. And what if I try 5? 5 times 5 is 25, and then 5 groups of 25 would be 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. That's too big. So I'll go to the next one, 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and then 16 times 4, hmm, 16 is the same thing as 8 times 2. So this is the same thing as 8 times 2 times 4, and that's the same thing as 8. So then my uh, solution is 4. x equals 4 because 4 times 4 times 4 equals 16. So it's not really 5, it's 4. That one's not been used yet. Uh, the next one says 2 to the x power equals 32. So I need 2 times itself some number of times to get 32. So I'm just going to start with 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 again is 8, times 2 again is 16, times 2 again is 32. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2's. So that x must be 5 because 2 to the 5th power, that's a lousy looking 5, 2 to the 5th power is equal to 32. Uh, number 4, we have x is equal to 2 fifths to the third power, so 2 fifths, this means 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths. So we know that 2 times 2 times 2 is, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. And on the bottom I have 5 times 5, which is 25, and 5 groups of 25, I just did a moment ago, is 125. So that solution is right here, x is equal to 8 over 125. Um, so let's look at just one more and we'll look at the one that appears to be the hardest because we hate fractions so much and that's number 5. That's 16 ninths is equal to x squared. So I have something times something which is the same thing as 16 ninths. But since this is a fraction, I need to consider what my numerator is going to be and what my denominator is going to be. If I want to get 16 in the numerator and I only have two factors, I have to multiply 4 times 4 to get that 16. So I know my numerator is 4, and if I scan this list, there's only one fraction that has a numerator 4, so I bet the solution is 4 thirds. So let's put 3 on the bottom and see if we get 9. 3 times 3 is 9. So my solution for number 5 is x is equal to 4 thirds. You can go ahead and work on the next uh, 3 by yourselves. Thanks for watching.